Are the federal liberals flip-flopping on their support for the Keystone XL pipeline? As you probably know, President-elect Donald Trump has promised to approve the pipeline within his first 100 days in office. And if you recall that during our last federal election campaign last year, the Keystone XL pipeline was the pipeline of choice for Trudeau and the liberals. But boy, how things can change. Now it appears Trudeau is poised to approve the Trans Mountain pipeline out here in BC and abandon their support for Keystone XL. According to Natural Resources Minister Jim Carr, the Keystone XL pipeline is no longer crucial for our oil exports. Carr was speaking yesterday and told reporters that Keystone, quote, doesn't get oil to export markets in Asia, and it's the goal of the government of Canada to expand its export markets. Now, both of those comments are great signs that they will be approving Trans Mountain, but Carr was also quoted as saying this. I think that if you listen to what the Prime Minister has said about moving our resources sustainably, the importance of responding to the demands in other export markets, and not to solely rely on one major market. But why can't we do both, Mr. Carr? Why can we not find new markets in Asia for our oil and increase our exports to our American friends? And Mr. Carr, it's almost as if you're suggesting that the U.S. market may not be a growing market. Well, are you deliberately ignoring the policy proposal of President-elect Donald Trump to eliminate American reliance on OPEC oil? It's right there in his America First energy plan. Take a look yourself. It even says right there, quote, We will become and stay totally independent of any need to import energy from the OPEC cartel or any nations hostile to our interests, unquote. In essence, what President-elect Trump is saying is that America needs energy independence, or more acutely, North America needs energy independence, and to break the chains of OPEC and their Sharia conflict oil. To do so will require increasing non-OPEC production outside the United States, especially in Canada and Mexico, where we have heavier crude oils of which the U.S. does not have a large domestic supply. But I don't think Jim Carr, Justin Trudeau, or the Liberals are tactful enough to get on side with that plan. That would mean they would have to get serious about Energy East and ending our own OPEC imports in Eastern Canada. And I know Justin doesn't want that fight. I have to say, I don't think Justin Trudeau and the Liberals were ever really actually for the Keystone XL pipeline. They figured that their buddy President Obama was opposing it and his heir, Hillary Clinton, was ready to do the same. So they could virtue signal all they wanted to Alberta, claiming to be a champion of that pipeline. But oh, how quickly they flip-flopped with Trump winning. What an embarrassment. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Christopher Wilson. Thanks for watching. You know, energy politics, pipelines, LNG, oil sands, it's something we cover on a daily basis here on the Rebel. So hit our YouTube channel and subscribe.